Hey, it's Candace Cruz for Red Carpet Report, and we are at the Paramount lot for a four-year consideration screening of Waco. Well, I read a little bit about Steve and realized how crucial and how pivotal he was within this storyline. What did you do in your process to prepare playing someone that really did once upon a time exist, you know? Well, we were really lucky because uh, I got in touch with uh, Sue Schneider, who's his sister. Okay. So I spoke with her uh, quite a bit and learned a lot that way. But also because the... Uh, the story is sort of based on two different books from two different sides. Mm -hmm. I got Gary Nesner's FBI sort of explanation of like his impression of who Steve was. Mm -hmm. And I also got uh, David Thibodeau's uh, side from inside, like mm -hmm. what, what kind of person he was. And then the script is just really, it was really good. They, they really labored over uh, all the historical information that they had. And uh, so, yeah, he's a lovely, uh, it's tragic story, tragic story of a guy. Yeah. Well, I, I read some interesting facts about him. Like his relationship with David was actually a little strained a couple of times as well. Sure. I, you know, to me, it sort of really spoke to the authenticity of like his belief in what he was doing was that he really questioned David a lot and said uh, more than one time, I think that he sort of wished anybody but David was this sort of leader but at the same time sort of accepted that that's what it was but they really did have a love hate uh relationship and i think he was really frustrated by david and at the same time really believed that he was you know the lamb of god that was there for them all and so uh defended him clearly all the way to the end so and did you follow this story back in 93 as well like did you watch a lot of it prior to i i i did i i I'm from Oklahoma originally, okay. and so it's really just kind of down the block where it mm -hmm. happened. So my interest was certainly peaked, and but my impression of what was going on over there was very different because I think sort of the PR machine of of what was sort of put out into the world about what was going on in there was so salacious and sort of you know newsworthy. I guess that a lot of the the nuance and complexity and and uh, sort of humanity that was inside there is left out. So I didn't know any of that stuff and learned that and uh, really felt uh, pretty privileged to work on this with such good people that uh, really took that seriously and, and tried to, you know, really honestly put something forward that I think turned out really great. I think so too. And from the humanity aspect of it, what are you hoping that audiences are taking or what have you heard from people that have watched the series? What's the feedback been so far? Well, I think the feedback a lot is like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that all that was going on. And I think anytime that we sort of stop and listen to each other and talk, I mean, we live in a very divided society and sometimes it's really hard. Uh, it seems like we're sort of screaming across uh, the void at one another and in disagreement and I think that's very much what was happening here you know they there literally was like a thin phone line connecting them and so much is lost in the translation yeah and so I I think if there's anything to be learned it's that you know we really have to like listen to each other and like recognize the sort of the humanity on on not only the Davidian side but also on the FBI side and uh, uh, so it's a you know it's a it's a lesson to be learned. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. You're welcome. It was nice meeting you. Thanks for watching Red Carpet Report. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below, and let me know what's your favorite Taylor Kitsch movie.